Hey guys, this is Sergeant Phoenix back in the action, and as you can see, this is part two of the first Gears of War game. Gameplay. Now we're going to where we left off by this. Well, it caused a little area where we just got ambushed and I died. And this is like one of the areas that it popped out of. And this will be my last video for the day. And what else? Possibly tomorrow or the day after, possibly the day after, because I have some work to do, I'll be doing some... I'll take the right. Huh, I'm a car man. As I mentioned, I have played this game before, but I actually don't remember much on it. Now why are they getting company but why not? Yeah. Up. Ah, so if I took that's I get it now, so if I took uh, the left side I would have pinned them down. I would have took Come on, come on, move. Just in case. Any showing up? Nope. Uh, yeah, I am wasting my time, honestly. Help. Wait till I'll fall back up. Yeah, man. Did I kill him? Definitely got him. Nice. Use the turret, use the turret, use the turret, use the turret. And honestly, I should mention that because I'm just getting. Oh, I'm gonna be mourning these guys down while we eat. You know, for those who don't know it, you know, and I think it would be with, with some people, you know, who would just. who just start playing Xbox in all fairness. That, you know, this is what made the Xbox what it is. Oh, for God's sake. These guys just don't quit. You kinda have to respect that. You gotta respect the commitment. Thanks for the ammo. Oh, I was expecting another ambush then. Okay, he's still searching for Alpha Squad. What the hell's going on out there? Oh wait, a wall. If Let's go. Oh. 
pliers. Turn it there, we can roll some of these guys down. And they're dead. Oh now that and all that opens up. Ah there you Yeah, if I try to go anywhere up there, I'm going to be mown down. Oh, for God's sake. Well, oh, they just picked the right time. Oh, he went off the turret. Things keep, keeps jamming. Ironically, those guns aren't properly realistic, the Lancers. You probably... Snapper. Yep, I can see the Snapper on him. Great. There's some more. Uh... No, but um, I had a leak actually on um, Lancers and stuff, how realistic they are. The main problem you have is the chainsaw. You know, most of the gun, you know, the gun just looks like a full automatic to me, which the ammunition probably is really easy to make. The only problem is the Lancer, the mechanism. Because you'd have to get a really small but really powerful runner to get it moving fast enough to chop through flesh like a proper chainsaw. About as far as I know. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Oh, goodness sake. Like the bot, you know, real life technology, I'm sorry, they mentioned, but I think if, you know, could we actually create a lantern now? You know, because like I said, the hiccup will be the chainsaw part. The retro lancer just looks like a your average weapon with a blade, your full auto with a blade on it. Yeah, we lost a car, man. How many flaming car- actually, curiosity, how many car mans are there in the wall? I count three. Or is there a- or is there a them? I know that- I know that positive attitude. I can tell straight away I know that cheery person. Yep, it's the coal train. Yep. 
Come on, we gotta say, come on, we gotta save coal. Hey you. He don't need no armor, his muscles are thick enough. <laughs> Look at all his muscles. Yep. So obviously those cedars are now top priority. And we can't communicate to our we can't communicate for choppers or reinforcements, we're screwed. Yep. And this is the first time we meet him. The coal train. He was defensive line. Wait a minute, Cole was, wait a minute, Cole was a defensive line in American football. I know we played American football, I didn't expect him to be defensive. Then again, I don't know how American football is played, I'm British. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Jack, decloak and rip this door. Check your weapons. Ratchet, that's a wretch. Damn it, I jammed it. Worst part is they only get killed by one bunch, what am I doing? Hey, Mark. Who's what? Who's that? Who's whack them on? Whack the wrench. Whack it off, win a prize. Thank God. So there's all that knocking those things out. I am not. I don't plan on knocking them out all throughout the whole game. There it is. Hammer a doll. For those of you who don't know, if I, I don't know if I mentioned on my last video, the, and I mentioned it on the part three of chapter three, part two of the Gears of War three game when I played when I've done game throughs so far. The Hammer of Dawn's basically a plasma plasma laser cannon that could spl that could split through, split cities at like birthday cakes. So in the so if these were ever used in the wrong hands, you have a weapon against anyone on the planet. So the only weakness they have is that they don't that you need sat you know, you can't just fire these things straight away. You have to wait for the satellites. You need to wait for what the satellites of the hammers to actually come around at the correct position. You know, and if you've got one, it could take weeks or months, depending on the, how fast 
That depends on how fast they are, the planet is and how fast these things move in space. Um, like I said, you need, like I said, it's not that it, it's not so simple to keep using, you can't just use hammer down a lot of the time, like I said, you've got to wait for the satellites to be in the right position. Yeah, comms are still down. I'll just say it there, yeah. I'm on 60 minutes already. I can hear grubs. Oh, what are you doing, man? Oh, yeah, I can just use this. Any more? No, I don't think. No, there's no more. They're out. They're out. Plus, I need to know the bloody hell you all are. Yeah, I saw a wrench. Saw a wrench. Right. Take the stairs. There we go. Yep, gold yep. Yeah, I've eliminate wrenches. Anyone? <sighs> Must still be a cedar out there. No, we're not. I had a feeling. Let's try. So I can't open these bloody doors myself. Oh, tags. Are you? I mean, are you opening the bloody door or not? Oh god, Rohas. Right, we're nearly 20 minutes in, so we've got 6 minutes until. Oh, we know that doesn't work.
Cool. Any more friends while we're at it? Um, okay, I think I got it. Okay, I think that was the, hopefully that was the last one. Okay, we've got a clear signal now. Well, uh, they're in the tombs. Oh, it's Bird! I have a feeling. No way in, that's the only way. There's only a door there, so I'm guessing they're gonna try and break it down. Yep, what did I say? I got a little surprise for him. It begins with G. Follow a minute. Okay. Yep, there's the tomb. We need to get to them. I don't care if I'm wasting some bits, I gotta charge and save them. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna get ambushed from nowhere. Turret system. And more wretches, of course, they've got more wretches. Better be the better where the bloody turret is. No, no, you don't. At least get them on what on one of you, a few of you down. <laughs> I tell you what, that's actually that was actually fun. Think wretches, like I said, wretches are my least favourite thing because they're just a pain. All than the boomers. Yeah, because at least with boomers, I can shoot something. There's a bit, there's a bit more spunk to them. I've got to be close by now.
Which way is it? This way. I am bloody damn sitting here. What? This building used to be a beautiful place. There's a lot of history here. Oh, that's what happens when a war starts, pal. I am curious actually what happened. There's a seed or I'm not saying. the cedars after the war. You know, they just not pop around as much on the I don't remember seeing them on Gears of War too. It's too quiet. That immediately tells you something's wrong. Honestly, the first sign of trouble means it when it's too quiet and you're in a war. I don't know why, why it's just that feeling. Oh, there's the chopper. Yep, there you go. There's the ambush. How the hell do they fly? I'm actually curious, how do they fly? And we lost the chopper, great. Okay, what the hell, dude, what the hell are you doing? Why are you not with the group? Put them right behind us as well. Yep, they're trying to flank them. Regroup. Oh, there he is, right on the right. Right on the bottom right screen. Ram. I know who he is. The head, he's one of the head honchos of the Locus. One of, one of the, one of the most, if not the real ruthless Locus general. Saz of a boomer, quietly intelligent and ruthless. Imagine that being the last face you'd look at.
You gotta admit, the work they did on this game is actually really well done. Was he, ser was he seriously just got staying low like he was in cover? How fit do you get? Yeah, Lieutenant Kim Zed, and we are right inside the tomb with no way out. Yes, he's KIA. I'm curious, what does KIA stand for? Okay. Obviously. Oh god. Yeah, I know that sound. Berserkers. She can hear us. She can smell us. I'm, I'm reading this assholes at the same time he says. I remember. This is when we first encountered the Berserkers. They don't see, they can't see us. They respond, I think they respond, they respond by sound. And they have an excellent sense of smell. Do you really think that's gonna work? Honestly, if you see this in all, you should see this in Ultimate Edition. It's even more gruesome. You don't see it, but it's even more gruesome. Yeah, and the problem is we can't just shoot the thing. Berserkers can't be killed by our average, by our standard weapons. We need the Hammer of Dawn, like it's just saying. Do we have the Hammer of Dawn? 